I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to practice quick decision making. This is a great skill to focus on, especially if you play with people who are maybe a little faster than you, but also if you ever want to play in a tournament or play online, you've got to make quick decisions. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We'll act as east first, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and we'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Flowers, east, these are pairs, west, red, one, seven in dots, pair seven, two, three, five in cracks, pair five. I would start with multiples. So we have fives and sevens, maybe five, seven, nine, five, six, seven in mixed suits, break up the east. So let's see, one, three, let's do this, one, three, west. Let's see, we do have a six, so we have consecutive run going here. Here's four, four, five, six, five, six, seven. We can pass these. Eight, six, eight, two. We have two, four, six, eight, but our multiple's with the five. So I would not keep that. Let's see, we have a two there, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight. Let's pass on these. Okay, so we have seven, five. Here's a five, four, five. Two can go, south can go. Four, five, five, six, seven. Let's let the five go. Actually, let's let the four go. We could play like numbers with fives maybe. Okay, so we have a three, nine, five. Let's let those go. One, four, green. I don't think I would keep those. Ones and a four. Wouldn't keep those. Four, five, six, seven. Let's let a seven go for optional. Lap. So we have five, six, seven Kongs. I think that's what I would focus on. That would leverage all the multiples. So we have five, seven. Here's a nine. Maybe start by discarding those. Maybe keep this. Five, four, five, six dragon. So discard those. That was a bit rough. Okay, we're gonna go to the next sprint. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint one in the comment section below with what you would do. Flowers, red, green, west, two, nine, and dots, eight, bam, two, seven, eight, nine, and cracks, pair eight. That's where I would start, that eight. Here's seven, nine, seven, eight, nine, dragon, eight. I'd keep the other eight for potential like numbers, and we have tiles we can pass. Flower, so now we have three flowers, so whatever we play, I would use lots of flowers. 
I think I would probably either play like numbers with eights and flowers or seven, eight, nine dragon. We need that nine. I almost gave that up. We'll pass those. Seven, wrong suit. Here's an eight we could probably let go of since we have two multiples. Let's pass those three. Oh, eight. Like numbers with eights, but we'd have to throw away a pair there. We have no gaps for that hand, so I'd stick with it. There's no gaps for eights, but we have, we would need six flowers. Oh, red, that's a keeper. Now, we did right across, left, left, we're going across, we have to pass. No keepers, we're gonna pass like numbers, we have a hand with no gaps. Red, that's a keeper, we have two tiles for optional. Lap. So we have green dragon, north, and a hand. We would Kong. We need a pair here, but we could Pung here and be ready to win on a seven. That was a really good Charleston. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, right? Sprint two in the comment section below. Jokers, two, white, five, six, eight, nine, five, six, eight, one, two, five, six. I would play probably five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. We have a gap, no seven, but we have tiles we can pass. Let's see if we can get sevens. We got a five. That's our first multiple right there. Five, five, six, five, six. We have a multiple here with our dragon. Five like numbers with fives maybe in dragons. We do have a three. We could do maybe do one three five. No, our the one three five dragon hand. No, that's not gonna work. I don't think with a three bam. So let's let's pass these three. Two, not helpful. Here's a four. Four five. Six, eight. We don't need the eight. Four, five, six dragon of some kind. Nine, one. Not helpful. Whoa. Let's keep that. Oops. Maybe we can force a quint with the south in dragons. So let's see. Let's let the four go. Flower. Two, three. Five, like numbers with fives, maybe five, six, dragon, maybe a quint. Let's pass these three. One, three, one, three, five, five, eight, south. Let's let the south go. Dragon, five, six, dragon. Did we let a four go? Let's let this three go. Four bam. It's the wrong four. Wrong suit. Eight. One, four, eight will pass. Lap. Okay, two, six, one. Let's just put them in order. Okay, so we have a pair of fives. Let's see, five. We have all the fives. I think I would keep all the fives in this five, six, and let those go. That wasn't too bad. I think we did have a four in here. Four dot. Did we pass a four dot? Because we could have done four, five, six dragon. But that might have been... Oh, I guess we didn't have it. Let's see, three, 
three, three, three, three. There's an extra one in there. Four, four, six. Okay, so I thought we had a four dot, but maybe it was the four bam. Five, six. Hmm, I think I would probably keep that six and let those go and just see what comes in. Maybe we could do four, five, six, or five, six, seven dragon. Like numbers with fives would work, but we'd have to discard the flower and get more another dragon and build up our fives. So that's going to be a little challenge. We'd be an underdog here. Three discards, but we have options. If you would have done something differently here, write it in the comment section below. With sprint three, let's see how things went with the time. When you play Mahjong, especially with people who maybe are a little quicker than you or better than you, you've got to keep up with the pace of the game. This is a great exercise to practice at home if you're in that situation. But also if you ever want to play in a tournament or maybe play online, you've got to make quick decisions. If you need a set to do this exercise, look for a link in the video description below for one I highly recommend. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.